Hi, it's Doug. Last winter, I traveled to northern Canada, where my sister and her family live. It gets so cold up there that it starts to snow in the fall. And then by the end of winter, the snow has piled up so deep that I could do this for fun. Check it out. This week, someone named Jamiria has a question about winter. Let's give her a call now. Hi, Doug. Hi, Jamiria. I have a question for you today. Why does it get cold in winter? That's a great question. Now, in some places, like where I live in California, it doesn't actually get that cold in winter. The only place it snows is up in the mountains. But lots of places in the world get cold in the wintertime. In some places, it even snows. And yet, think about it. Just a few months before that, in the exact same place, it was hot outside. You were wearing shorts or t-shirts. You might have gone swimming. Maybe you went to the beach or you had a picnic outside. In just a few short months, the weather changes a lot. It goes from hot to cold. Why? Why does it get cold in winter? Now, I got to tell you, this was actually pretty hard for people to figure out. For a long time, nobody knew why it got cold every winter. But people noticed that the sun is where we get all of our light and warmth. So it makes sense to see if we can find any clues by paying attention to the sun. Now, you know it's dangerous to look directly at the sun in real life. But what I'm about to show you is just a video. It's totally safe to look at. So check this out. See if you can find any clues about why it might get cold in winter. This is a sped up view of what you'd see if you were to sit in one place and watch the sun all day long. Let's watch it again. Here you can see the sun rises in the morning, gets to a high point, and then starts to set in the evening. If you were to draw a line, it's like this. The sun makes a giant arc across the sky. But now this was during the summertime. Now watch the sun in wintertime. Okay, let's see it one more time. Do you notice any difference? In case it's helpful, here's a side-by-side -side comparison. What difference do you notice in what the sun does? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, you ready? Well, you might have noticed a difference in how high up the sun goes in the sky. In the summer, the sun gets much higher overhead. In the winter, the sun is lower in the sky than it is in the summer. Think about how the sun feels when it's high up in the sky. In the summertime, with the sun up higher, it's sending light rays directly down on you. Like, think about if you're at the pool on a hot summer day. You've probably felt the sun beating straight down on you. When it's shining straight down on you like that, you get hot. But in winter, the sun is lower in the sky. The sunlight is not beating straight down on you anymore. It's more sideways. Without all that heat beating straight down on us, it can't get hot outside. So it's cold. But now wait a second. This can't be the full reason why it gets hot in summer and cold in winter, right? I mean, I mentioned before, I live in California where it doesn't get very cold in the winter. Remember it only snows in the mountains? And then think about tropical places, places that never get cold. By that, I mean places located in this part of the earth, around the middle, places like Hawaii, the Amazon rainforest, or Indonesia. Tropical places like these don't have winter at all. It's like it's always summer there. But guess what? Check out what the sun does in tropical places. Here it is in the summertime, and here it is in the winter. You ready? It does the same thing. In tropical places, the sun always goes high overhead each day. So the fact that the earth gets hot and cold has something to do with how high or how low the sun gets in the sky. But why does the sun's arc change at all? And why is it that in tropical places, the sun always goes high in the sky every day? Those are harder questions to answer. And it's something you'll study in middle school. For now, I can just tell you, 
It has something to do with the Earth being on a tilt as it spins and moves through space. That's all for this week's question. Thanks, Jamiria, for asking it. 